hello guys welcome back to the channel Theo here on today's video i'm going to fix a porsche cayman using this right here i know i'm not explaining exactly what the issue is or why this is so you have to keep on watching to know exactly what the issue that i have with my cayman exactly what this is and how i'm going to solve that issue with this <laughs> So if you're a long time follower, you know that recently I've installed this Soul Performance exhaust into my Porsche Cayman. Yes. Now, I enjoy it and it's pretty loud and I love it, love it, love it. I have a video of the exhaust sound on driving by and stuff that I'm going, that I'm actually doing. I'm planning to film that tomorrow. So stay tuned to actually hear how, you know, this exhaust sound, you know, when I'm driving inside the cabin and outside and whatnot. After I installed the Soul Performance exhaust, I started driving around and then one day I got this error message. I'm going to put that right now for you. So it was pretty much a code like P033 if I'm correct and it was saying coolant something with the coolant and that really freaked me out. So after I did a lot of research, I found out that there's actually a vacuum actuator here which is the same vacuum actuator that also controls the valve flap on the exhaust that is probably bad so the symptoms pretty much when you have that little issue are simple your valve are not going to function your heat it's not going to work on your car or simply you might actually have a coolant issue now when i did check the coolant temperature after driving the car again other other times my coolant temperatures are fine the car is not overheating the car is you know being cool as normal as in the past so i decided that you know what that might not be the problem that i have so i checked that out of my list so the next thing was to see if my actuator were working now i went under the car and checked and i found that one of the cable that is actually plugged into one of the actuator the one on the right side passenger side was actually unplugged so i went ahead and plugged that cable back and even put a zip tie just to ensure that it does not come off so I drove again around, that message did not go away. So what I've done is using a tool that I have, I kind of went and reset the light. So I drove around, the light did not come back. But because I'm not really thinking that probably I fixed the issue, I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and also change that little vacuum actuator pump that is in there that is also controlling the flow between, you know, all of these things. Now, don't ask me why Porsche is using a Thing or a vacuum pump that is connecting to the you know, exhaust flap for some cam cooling that it's beating me but also one thing that is still happening is that right now I do not have heating in the car so that made me believe that probably you know that vacuum thing that is right there is actuator that is right there is bad so today we are actually simply going to replace that with this which is actually a brand new one of the vacuum pump now let me take you into that this quick um, repair fix as you can see now i'll remove a few things right on the back where the engine bay is going to be now if you want to know exactly how i got to there please watch my previous video with where i installed the intake on the car that will explain to you what i have done here now to remove the brace here what you have to do is on the left side and on the right side you remove that little piece of cover and that's going to show you two t30 bolt once you remove two on each side you can easily remove the brace as i've done so now what you have to do simply is pull this cover out like that so that you can see this hard shelf and also remove all the t30 that you know you can clearly see right here all around and that's going to expose literally the engine that's exactly what i'm going to do now once you remove all the screws you can simply now lift the engine cover and it comes off just like that so let's go ahead and put it on top of the carpet nice so now literally this is the engine and you can see it's so dusty because i'm pretty sure that maybe this has never been opened before so I'm gonna go ahead and also remove some of this dust and literally this is what we are trying to replace right here. here. Um, one way of testing to see if, you know, this actuator uh, solenoid is actually bad is actually to unplug in this one. This one is the one going directly for the flaps 
and you know starting the car i've done it earlier and actually my flaps are not moving whenever i start the car because the operation when you start the car it's supposed to like cycle through on and you know being from open to close but that doesn't happen for me so what i'm going to do right now is i unhook this and i'm going to see if when i you know start up the car if there's any type of vacuum in here now if i don't see anything here then that means this unit is definitely bad that's when i'm going to replace it with this new one right here so i'm going to do that test right now and let you know the results out of the car the exhaust is pretty pretty loud as you can hear so now what i'm going to do is simply put my hand here and see so i feel like the, i feel a little sucking here but it's not too loud and it is got quieter that is pretty weird so it's like there's some kind of vacuum but it's not a uh, doesn't have enough power yeah it's, it's quite small so I'm not sure if this is enough to pull the lever so I'm just gonna go ahead and swap these and test again to see if the vacuum with this is much powerful I went ahead and replaced this part right here now this bolt right here is an e10 so you go ahead and use an e10 remove that push that slide that um, solenoid out and then you know you are good to go the old one is right here i'm going to put the part actually let me just show you the part number in case you want to order one i got mine from fcp euro so hopefully you can read the part right here and then uh you know you go in fcp euro you search it you should be able to find it that's where i purchased the one that i'm using so now pretty much all i have to do is plug this one which i think is for a you know somewhere because this cable right here is the one going in there and this one is the one going down to the exhaust so i'm going to go ahead and hook this one back up just to make sure it's tight but before i place this one i want to go ahead and test to see if you know i get a good amount of vacuum here when i start up the engine the engine is on and it's pretty loud oh actually i shouldn't get any because i didn't even plug this my bad now I plug this. I got actually the same amount as I was getting that one. Hmm, that is weird. Well, let's lock this in place. Ah, that is very weird. I'm getting the same amount of vacuum here that I was getting. So let me go ahead and plug this one all the way in. Make sure it is pretty, pretty tight. And then, uh, Put my camera down there and test the features to see if I get open or close. Although my main issue of the flaps has not been resolved, now I have heat. I did check and now I do have heat. So I'm not sure if probably this actuator is not powerful enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt at a later date to install, you know, the controller that comes with a sole performance exhaust because there is one controller that is provided whenever you purchase my exhaust, which is this exhaust right here. Whenever you purchase that new, it comes with a controller. So I'm going to go ahead and install that and test again to see if the flaps are working. Now, to me, the garage did this, so I'm going to link a description whenever I do that part uh, another time. But for now, I'm going to put everything back up and then uh, pretty much show you the finished product and then enjoy my car one more time. To fix this, what I pretty much did is I took all the vacuum lines provided by Sol Performance and actually installed those instead of the factory lines that I have on the Cayman. What happened is that the hole on the factory line are actually a little too big for the input on the Sol Performance exhaust. So no matter what I was doing, because those are hard plastics, I still had a vacuum leak and that's why the actuator were not working. So once I replaced those with the sole performance vacuum lines, my issue got resolved. So if you are installing this sole performance exhaust, I urge you to actually go ahead and install the provided vacuum lines with your PSC uh, system. I hope this video was somewhat informative. So I see I placed everything back and the engine look nice. I uh, turn on the engine and then, you know, it sounded just like it did before. So if you like this video make sure that you leave a comment and also like this video and also 
subscribe right that's it so uh see you on the next video bye bye